Okay, I'm going to cover on how to use the five lines of the Ichimoku cloud. Now let's cover what the first line uh, means. The first line is called the Tekken line, and it's known as the turning line. And the calculation that it does, it does the highest plus the lowest divided by two for the past nine periods. So if we're looking at a daily chart, it would be for the last nine days. Now, the following line okay, is called the Keesian line. And the Keesian line is going to take the highest plus the lowest divided by 2 for the last 26 days. Uh, and now this is called the standard line. Now, what do we use these two lines for? Let's go to the Magenta Trader software. And we're going to load a chart. So, for example, let's go to SWC. And I'm going to change up here where it says style, and I'm going to bring it down to the cloud. Now, when I go to the cloud, okay, the first analysis I'm going to do on the cloud is I'm going to look at the blue line and the red line. The blue line is the nine period line, which is the Tekken, and the red line is the 26 period line, which is the Keijin line. Okay, if the nine which is the blue, is above the red, okay, that indicates a bullish trend. If, for example, back here, where the red was above the blue, in this area, if the red is above the blue, that indicates a bearish trend. Okay, so the first analysis here, so for example, looking at this chart, we saw a crossover back here where the blue crossed and got back above the red. So uh, on the first analysis, looking at the Tekken line and the Keijin line, this is telling me that this is in a bullish uh, trend. Now let's go back okay, and let's uh, see the next line, which is uh, we're going to use. It's called the Chico Span. Now the Chico Span is known as the lagging line. And what it does, it takes the current closing price and it time shifts it backwards for 26 periods. So what it's doing, it's comparing today's price with the price of 26 days ago. Now, let's go back to the software, for example. And this is the second step you can do using the, uh, the Ichimoku system, the cloud. Okay, and he, right here, this magenta color line, you can see how it's... 26 days back from the present line okay so you can see it's taking today's price and it's putting it above 26 day price the 26 day candle back okay if the current price is above today's price which you can see this purple line is above the candles that's a bullish trend if it's below the candles for example like in this area that it was below the candles that's a bearish trend. And when you see it cross over the candles, that's telling you that the, the sentiment or the trend is shifting. So based so far on our analysis, we're seeing blue above the red, okay, which is the nine above, that's indicating a bullish trend. And we're seeing the Chico span above the candles, which is also indicating a bullish trend. Now let's go find out and and interpret how to read the next two lines okay the next two lines is called the sequel span a and what the sequel span a do it adds the Tekken line plus the Keijin line divided by two and it time shifted forward 26 periods so now instead of going backwards it's throwing it into the future 26 periods now, the sequel span B line is going to take, which is the second leading line, it's going to take the highest plus the lowest divided by 2, and it's going to shift it forward 52 periods. Okay? For the last 52 periods, and shift it forward 26 periods. Now, this is what's going to create what's called the Kumo. Okay? Which is the cloud. The Kumo in Japanese means cloud okay and this is a one line and this would be the other line okay now when sequel span A 
is below B. So right here, this is B and this is A. The filling of the cloud, the space between these two lines is what makes up the cloud, is going to be filled in as red. For example, here, A, sequel span A was above B, and it was filled in uh, right here. This was filled in in light color or green. You can see a light uh, shade color. So it's either going to be red or it's going to be a light shade color. Now, right now, we just saw a crossover of the lines. A just got above B again, and you can see how it's just changing the color. Now, this is telling us that we're going to have a new trend to the upside. Okay, so this is a very bullish uh, signal, and that's when a new trend is beginning. So uh, the third step after you've checked the blue and the red line, the taken adhesion, and you've seen the lagging line, okay, now the third step, you're, with using the system, you're going to look at the color of the cloud. So right now it's a bullish color. So all three are confirming. So we have a very bullish um, sentiment to the upside. Now the fourth step is this cloud becomes a strong resistance and support sequel span a and b so when we see price and we could see how price got into the cloud we had a couple of dojis and then it stayed in the cloud and right now we just broke out of the cloud okay whenever it breaks out of the cloud that's usually when we're going to see a big run and it's the ideal day to enter uh, the trade and I like seeing a full if I'm gonna go into a buy a full bullish candle to the upside if I'm looking for a sell a full bearish candle uh, below the cloud so for example right here it's a very strong signal everything's coordinating because we're seeing blue above red uh, you can see how it just changed color uh, this just got above and we just had a bullish candle break above the cloud that's a very good entry point because now the cloud is going to become this sequel span these two lines are going to become uh, support also the thickness of the cloud or how big the cloud is is a very strong indication of how strong that support is going to be so for example look at a, an example this is another trade we enter so to, to load the cloud on the Genta trader software all I have to do is scroll down put cloud uh, you can see how it loads it uh, when you're when it's here it's reading the cloud and it loads the cloud now you can see how the power of combining seasonality uh, with the cloud right here we had the entry it broke out of the cloud the blue was above the red the chico span was above the candles because it's always 26 days powered and the cloud already had changed color because it's 26 days forward and you can see it was about ten dollars and now Ford is trading at eleven fifty now if you're seeing for example um, let's load Apple okay and you can see uh, how it always puts you on the right side of the the trade okay let's load the cloud on there and you can see how right here it broke out of the cloud Blue was above red. The cloud had changed color, and we had good season ad. This is the time of the year that uh, Apple goes up, and it was trading just below 600, and we got up all the way to 700. So a hundred dollar move on the cloud break. Uh, then it gave you a bearish entry. You could see how, and I know a lot of people that were bullish in this area, and if you're using the cloud, you would have been in the correct area and able to cut. The move to the downside after the big move there's going to be a big pullback and you could see how we had a full bearish candle below blue was uh, below red and 26 days forward the cloud had just changed color so it was telling you and the purple line or the magenta color line was below the candles telling you that this stock wanted to go to the downside and it went down from the 610 area all the way down to five close to 500 area uh, when it finally bottomed out there at 525 and if we put the cloud and currently see you can see how it's still
below. So uh, hasn't given us any buy indications uh, for Apple. The Chico span is still below, and the blue is right over the red right now. But you can see we're still in a bearish. So it keeps you out of uh, this trade here. Uh, let's look at Google. And you can see how Google also gave us real nice entry. Okay, you can see how we know this is the time of the year uh, from August here where it starts heading up. And right before the seasonal started, the cloud gave us the indication that it was going to start its move uh, early right here. And you can see how it broke out of the cloud. Blue was clearly above the red. The Chico span of oh, these purple line was above the candles. And 26 day forward, the cloud had already changed color. And it uh, allowed us to capture a real nice move on Google to the upside. And you can see how it almost topped out near 775. Now, what are we looking at the current uh, price of Google? Okay, we still have some good seasonal coming up till late December. Now, the blue is above the red. And you can see how the Chico span just got above the candles. But we still haven't changed the color. And we still haven't broken above the cloud, so we're, we're waiting on that uh, entry. Uh, let's look at some more examples. For example, Caterpillar. Okay, if we look at Caterpillar, okay, you can see how Caterpillar from now to about April is the good seasonality time of the year. Now, if we run the cloud analysis on it, I'm going to go right here to Style and Cloud. Okay, you can see how the blue line is above the red. This one just flipped uh, colors. So it's telling us that uh, the trend is changing. So we have this bullish, this bullish, seasonality, we're bullish. And you can see how we just crossed and we're right above the candles right now. We're below the candles and it just crossed uh, over. The only thing we need is we're still inside the cloud. Uh, we would want to see a bullish candle outside the cloud, and that would confirm our buy entry here on Caterpillar. For example, let's go to ARO, which is Arrow Postal. You can see how we have a real good seasonality trend. Uh, if I put the next 90 days, okay, this stock has gone up 10 out of the last 10 years from December 24th to April. Okay, so we're right at the time of the year where the highest probability chance of this stock going up. Now, if we look at the cloud and we place the cloud analysis, okay, we can see uh, the first analysis blues above the red. The cloud just flipped colors. And the Chico span is right. It got above the candles and now it's right at the candles. So I would just like to see the Chico span get back above the candles. And the candles get right outside the cloud so we're real close to a real good entry on ARO RO postal okay now for a bullet a bearish entry okay we will want to see exactly the opposite for example William Sonoma okay if we see William Sonoma this is the time of the year this stock goes down okay if I scan for it using seasonality uh, you can see right here and I could put a 30 day and it's telling me from December 10th to January this stock has gone down nine out of the last 10 years now the same exact thing just inversely what do I want to see I want to see a red you can see how it just changed colors for a bearish red cloud I want to see the blue get below the red and right now the blue is still above the red now the Chico span is confirming a bearish because it's below these uh, candles. And we had we just had a bearish candle below the cloud. Okay, so all I want to see is this blue get below, which could happen in the next couple of days, and we should get a real nice uh, drop in this stock. Now what's another uh, indicate, for example, KAKSS? Uh, this is a trade that I took. Uh, you can see how real nice, 10 out of 10 years, this stock goes down 
uh, in December. Now I was waiting for my entry using uh, the cloud. Okay, let me scroll this down, and you can see how on this day right here it got below uh, the candle. The, cl the cl cloud had changed colors. Blue got below the red. The Chico span was below, and we got a big move down from about fifty-two dollars all the way down to under forty-five in the forty-three dollar range. Real quick. Uh, within one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven candles. So eleven days, we made a real nice put move. Uh, let's look at another one that might be setting up for a put. Okay, you can see how we have good seasonality to the downside. If we use the cloud analysis, okay, we just got below the cloud. Okay. You can see right here, we got below the cloud. The cloud is red, which is bearish. Chico span below the candles and the seasonality down. So this is setting up. If you do the broke out of the cloud, blue below red, cloud is red, and the Chico span is below the cloud. So it's a very effective system to consistently put high probable trades in your favor. If you have any additional questions, feel free to contact um, our office or you can visit our website magentatrader.com.